After posting the clip on the corrections to sundials, I received this very interesting thought-provoking comment from Paul. Uh, Paul is always among the first ones to uh, watch the clips and sending really stimulating comments. Uh, this has two parts. One is about uh, the orbits, uh, the relative orbits, and the second is uh, about what is the role played by the second focus, which is unoccupied. I don't know about the second part, but uh, it's a very uh, interesting question, a profound question. Uh, wish I knew the answer or I wish I find it somewhere. I'm really curious. Uh, the first part is uh, relatively easier. Uh, it says that as the Earth goes around the Sun, okay, here let us set this in motion. We don't see this uh, this way. We see the Sun going around us. And I had made a statement that uh, the two orbits, the actual orbit of Earth around the Sun and the apparent orbit of Sun around the Earth, these two ellipses are identical. And uh, I had uh, not offered any proof. So let us see that part. Uh, I'll kind of offer you a graphical intuitive kind of proof or rather couple of proofs. So the first one uh, is going to attach a drawing sheet to the earth. Okay, so we are having a huge drawing sheet, you know, somehow it is kept uh, stiff and it is attached to the earth. So it will be moving with the earth. And as it moves, we are going to use the sun as a pencil resting on it okay so if sun were a pencil uh, resting on that paper it is going to trace and uh, trace a curve okay so let us see what kind of curve we get so we'll start moving our drawing sheet and you'll see the sun is tracing some path on it this is going to be the path of the sun as seen from the earth okay so this is the apparent orbit of the sun looks like an ellipse look similar very similar to shape and size uh, but this is of course not a rigorous proof that the two ellipses are identical this just gives us a, a feel of the phenomena now let us put some rigor into it so again we start with the three basic things uh, sun earth and earth's orbit around it and uh, we are going to take a few positions uh, somewhat evenly spaced but uh, that's not uh, really necessary uh, on the orbit and we are going to draw lines emanating from the sun and reaching to these points. Imagine this like a polar graph. Say the sun is at the origin and each of these lines is a kind of position vector of these points. So each line has a unique r and theta, the polar coordinate uh, pair. And therefore, uh, we have sort of defined this curve in terms of these uh, radial lines. Uh, the position vectors now what is the role played by these lines as seen from the earth well these line is a ray coming from the sun or you can imagine this is the line of sight from the earth to the sun if someone wants to see where the sun is so when the earth is say in this position then this is the position vector of the sun so all these position vectors okay will get attached to the earth as the earth occupies these various positions in uh, space okay so we are going to take all these lines but instead of attaching it to the sun we'll be attaching it to the earth so earth will become a kind of origin but as far as these lines go there is no change in their length r or direction theta so we are having the same position vector same set of position vectors but centered around earth okay from earth so we will get the same curve back. Okay, let us see this in animation. So I'll start moving the earth and as we reach a position, we'll pick up that position vector there. So we'll pick up the third one and now the fourth one, fifth one and so on. So when we do that, okay, you'll see I'm collecting these lines. I'm just translating these lines. Okay, I'm not tilting them or stretching them in any way. So R and theta are intact. Only instead of the sun being the origin, now the earth is the origin. And therefore, the curve uh, uh, these things uh, trace will also be an identical ellipse. Okay, let us actually see this uh, getting generated. So this time I'm going to not just pick these lines of sight, but I'll also be connecting them with a smooth curve. So you'll see the tips of these lines at the end of which the sun will always be there are being connected 
with a smooth curve and that is an ellipse so this is the ellipse i was talking about since it is traced by the same position vectors uh, this e ellipse is identical to the previous one okay so let us uh, see this in motion once again there uh, you can also uh, i have put it in the loop so we can watch it over and over uh, you can see uh, this also goes with uh, the paper and pencil model that we had you, ca you can see this uh, curve is being traced by the uh, sun really okay. so it is an ellipse and it's a identical one uh, thank you for the question paul it was fun making this video